Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of Be Cone Knives. In this video, I'm gonna be working with a couple Harbor Freight tools and changing them into something that I can actually learn how to forge on. The first thing I'll be working on is an anvil, which honestly is just a hunk of steel. Um, I wouldn't even call it an anvil. So I'm gonna be resurfacing all of the surface and finishing the job that Harbor Freight started. The hammers I'm working with are honestly kind of low quality. So I'm gonna be, again, resurfacing all of the surfaces, including the faces and the handle to make them into something that can actually forge with comfortably. Let's get going. Let's start here on the anvil. So as you can see, I've already marred up this surface because I do not have the technique to strike well. So I'm going to ruin whatever anvil I start on. So the first step I'm going to do is resurface this flat and round over these corners into a more workable surface. The next step is working on this horn to round it over and again, make it a lot more usable. And honestly, I can't wait to take off all of this ugly blue because this anvil is not very pretty. And then later we'll be working on these hammers. So the first thing I need to address is these faces. As you can see, this has a really sharp chamfer. So I'm gonna to have to round that out and make that a lot better. As well as I'm going to put on a rounded side. So I'm gonna to have to remove quite a bit of material. The next thing I'm gonna work on is this handle. It is a very uncomfortable handle. Um, this veneer on there is going to give you blisters and honestly, I'm just going to have to redo the entire thing. On this peen hammer, I'm going to again resurface this to get rid of that bad chamfer and I'm going to thin out this peen to make it a lot more usable. Gotta do the first step.
now that I'm finished, let's look at this anvil and see how it turned out. I am incredibly proud with how this thing turned out. Um, this surface is a lot more flat. There are still a couple small dings, but honestly, that is about as good as I could have hoped for. The biggest and most dramatic difference is rounding over this horn. Um, this is gonna make this anvil a lot more usable and I'm going to be able to forge things around at a tighter radius because of it. And God almighty, am I glad that that blue is mostly gone. Um, obviously there's still a little bit of remnants of the blue left. Um, I'll probably go over it with some spray paint in a few days just to clean all that up. But yeah, this is a much better anvil now than where, how we started. I'm also really happy with how these hammers turned out. Um, the most dramatic difference is going to be how these bevels have been more rolled over. Um, this side is actually now a much more round face. Um, I might still have just a little bit more cleaning to make it perfect, but I am very proud with how this thing, this hammer turned out. This three pounder, I did the exact same with the more rounded bevels. And this cross pin is actually just a little bit more thin and probably a little bit more usable. These tools are a hell of a lot better now than how I bought them from Harbor Freight. I am super proud of the work I was able to put in on them, and I cannot wait to learn how to forge using these tools. If you have any questions of the process, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. If you liked or appreciated this video, go ahead and leave it a like. If you would like to see more knife making projects, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.